use scenarios. In this chapter, we are going to show you where asterisk is used. Lab one, one phone, one line PBX. This one phone, one line PBX is usually what you start, uh, what you use to start asterisk, is what you use as a lab. So you have uh, an asterisk here, and then you have a telco or a PBX. Usually to connect to the telco or a PBX, you need an FXO interface. You can buy FXO interfaces. There's actually a very cheap one, uh, one fx one fxo interface that is was actually a very old modem some chinese companies still produce the one fxo interface uh there's recently some people using the gsm dongle it's uh is a gsm card and a usb stick and this stick is compatible with a driver called the chen dongle so you can connect to a telco or, or even to a mobile operator uh, you can use SIP phones. There are very cheap ones, phones that are less, less than $30. $30. There are some very good ones uh, from Brandstream or Yelling. In the U.S., you can also can, can buy Polycoms. They are all very good phones. Uh, you can connect to the Internet and connect to a VoIP uh, Internet service provider. This is actually the cheapest way to, to start. So you can receive calls and send calls, even Skype. If you you can, you can connect to uh, to Skype using SIP. There's a, there's a, a possibility. Oh, and there are many other ITSPs that you can connect to receive and send calls. You can connect analog phones using a FXS interface. You can buy FXS interface from many manufacturers for asterisk, and you can connect. Phones also using analog telephone, telephone adapters. Grandstring has some, some of these. Uh, it's simply an Ethernet box that you can connect an analog phone. So these are the ways that you can start. Or you can start very simply like we are showing on this training. Two soft phones from different brands because usually you cannot uh, start two copies of the same soft phone on the, on the, on the single machine. So uh, use x light Zoiper, Blink, there are many, many free soft phones, use the ones you, you want. And a virtual machine with asterisk would be enough to, to start. And on this training, I will provide a, a gateway on the internet to simulate the ITSP, so you can make, make calls to, to this uh, fake internet VoIP service provider, and you also will be able to receive calls using an application that, that is a click-to-call application on the, on the internet to generate calls to your, to your own server. Okay, enterprise solutions. Usually Asterisk is used in many companies as a, as a PBX. So usually you have Asterisk connected to the telephone company using uh, E1 or T1 uh, card or analog card. Uh, many of the companies are now, instead of using the E1 or the analog, they are using SIP trunks that are, that are cheaper and simpler to use. You don't need any specialized hardware when you have a, a SIP trunk. Then you can connect analog phones using ATA, soft phones, and IP phones. So you, uh, you can have a very cheap PBX. And startup can have an Astros PBX connected to the um, internet telephony service provider. If they can use IP phones on the mobile, like a soft phone on the mobile, there are very good companies that provide uh, SIP clients for IP phones, and they can have a, a very cheap PBX uh, without investing almost anything and can, can look like a very, very big company ju just by using Asterisk. Enterprise solutions, sometimes you are going to, to connect Asterisk to a current PBX, uh, let's say you have a, a company that already have a 3,000 line uh, PBX. You don't want to simply throw away uh, the investment on a very large PBX. So you can connect asterisk to these PBX using a T1 or E1 card. The PBX is connected to the telco. Usually in this case, you separate the dial plan between the old box and new box, like the extensions on these on this PBX are from 2000 to 5000 and on the Asterisk PBX from 5000 to 6000 and then you can route calls between the old PBX and the new one 
And in the new one, you start to create an application, start connecting VoIP phones, IP phones, and analog phones. You can connect to service providers, you can connect to IP phones on the internet, giving access to the internal network. It's also a very common approach. Connecting headquarters and branches, ASRIS is often used also as a gateway. So you insert a gateway on each of these branches. Uh, the advantage for, uh, for ASRISC as a gateway, in the first place, IX in trunk mode, you can save a lot of bandwidth. And also the cost of the card, uh, 1500 for a 41 card is, is, is still very low. And you can make lots of calls between different branches just by using uh, asterisk to connect them. If you don't have other PBXs, you can simply use asterisk on any of these this branches and you'll be able to connect all of them. Asterisk as an application server, it's, this is also another important use for asterisk. You can connect to, uh, to a telco using E1 or analog or T1 or even I, uh, as as a SIP to an internet telephony service provider. And then you can run IVRs, conference, voicemail, you can run Asterisk PBX on the cloud. Uh, there are many applications that you can create using Asterisk. Asterisk is a contact center. Asterisk is, Asterisk is very popular as a contact center. Uh, in US and in, in Brazil, I would say that nine on each 10 call centers use Asterisk on these days. It's very flexible and it has all the components, the call queue, uh, IVRs, and you have the uh, AMI, the Asterisk Manager Interface to connect the screen pop. In US, Vichidial, that is based on Asterisk, is very popular as a dialing platform and a call center platform. Uh, there is also queue metrics from Lowe in Italy. That they are also very popular for inbound call centers. They have very good software that can run on top of Asterisk to, to create a call center. And all of them are free and open source, so you can, you can try it. In the conventional system, you have all of these components separate, like you have the soft switch, the voicemail, the PSTN gateway, analog telephone adapter, music on hold, all separate on different boxes. So you usually have one server for each of these things. Now with Asterisk, you can have Asterisk for all of these things in a single box. So you can have unified messaging system, PSTN gateway, soft switch. You can connect your analog phones, everything on the, on the Asterisk. Where to find documentation? The best place to find documentation is wiki.asterisk.org. So in the wiki.asterisk.org, you have the Asterisk project here. And here's the, probably the best place to find, to find documentation on, on these days. You have documentation of all the versions. You can have documentation about the foundation, getting started. It's one of the best sources of information on Asterisk. There's also the community. In the community, you have forums. You can go to the Asterisk forums. And also, you can, you can find the mailing lists. Mailing lists are still very useful. Mailing lists, asterisk, they are very popular. Uh, asterisk mailing lists, asterisk users. This is probably the best place to find, to find, to find tech support. Add your email address, you start receiving emails, and you can post emails on the list. This is probably the most popular. Take, take care when you're, you, when you're posting things on, on mailing lists. They are very strict, only technical stuff. No marketing, no spam, please. And as from my experience, pay attention to what you're writing when you are writing an email to a mailing list because there are many, many, many people looking at your post and sometimes uh, it hurts <laughs> you know what i'm what i'm talking about okay let's let's move back to our slides there is also the voipinfo.org voipinfo.org was created uh, a long time ago many people from the community i think only was one of the main contributors in the beginning uh, 
created the the VoIP info. So still in these days, if you look at asterisk and let's suppose the common dial, one of the first results will be the VoIP info. So you can come here and check all the all the uh, all the details of the common. Actually, most of these most of the things that you have here are actually outputs from from comments uh, inside asterisk. If you, if you do a show uh, show application dial, core show application dial, you're going to see more or less the same thing, right? But here, actually, after some time, many people started to put comments and everything. But in the beginning, it was based only the only on the output of the application show comment. Let's go back to our presentation. Uh, integration with other systems. Asterisk can be integrated with other systems using the Asterisk Gateway interface. This is often used for IVRs. You can use any language, PHP, C, JavaScript, whatever you want. Uh, it's similar to CGI, but it's used for a web interface. You send and receive comments, uh, Asterisk comments from an external program. Uh, this is often used for IVR. This is called from inside Asterisk. From the dial plan, you you call the AGI and you call this program to process, as an example, a new interactive uh, voice, uh, interactive voice response. Uh, AMI is the Asterisk management interface. It's a TCP IP connection to, to Asterisk. Usually you use it for dialers. You send a uh, dial, the most popular common is probably the originate, where you send a dial uh, common to dial from asterisk. But you can also receive events. So uh, screen pop that it's very popular on call centers can be implemented using AMI. Asterisk REST interface is more recent. Uh, asterisk REST interface, you can send commons and receive events using an HTTP interface uh, instead of the the old socket interface provided by a AMI. There are many applications that you can use, uh, that you can create using the Asterisk REST interface. So Asterisk is very open in the way you connect other applications. That's it. In summary, we've learned on these last three uh, presentations who created Asterisk, why Asterisk was created, why we started using Asterisk, uh, when Asterisk was created in 99, uh, where Asterisk was used where? In call centers, in companies, enterprise, in labs, in startups. It can be used in many, many different places. I would say that call center is a very popular application for, for Asterisk. IVRs too. IVRs and call centers are one of the most popular applications. Obviously, PBX too. Many, many companies replace it their their PBXs by, by asterisk. So uh, the usage scenarios uh, are these ones. And the architecture is simple. It's a core uh, surrounded by applications, channels, uh, formats, and codecs. It's, it's a way to, to, to connect. Another important thing is uh, asterisk is open. You have the asterisk gateway interface for IVRs, management interface for dialers, and screen pop or an application that need to connect using TCP, TAP, and the new REST interface that is similar to, to, to AMI, you can receive and send comments to, to asterisk. So this ends our last presentation of the first section.